was a tough week for the Minnesota Twins and they'd like to hit the reset button and what better way to do that than to hand the ball to your opening day starter. Pablo Lopez at two and two with a good ERA at three seven seven. Tatis in the box and here we go. Got him on strikes. One away. Oh, what a tremendous job of pitching to a very aggressive hitter a guy who could do damage. And now a walk and here is Machado three plate appearances three full counts popped up. Gallo running towards the line and making a catch finishing it off with a bare hand <laughs> and it's a double play Gallo sliding across the line the ball popped out of his glove he caught it with a bare hand and then got the double play at first base Cronenworth is going are you kidding me pops up Ooh. Did the ground cause fumble. Love the focus though. You can see the eyes locked in on it. It won't be challenged, I'm guessing, only because this is the first inning. For the Padres, Seth Lugo comes into tonight's action with a 3-2 and two record and a 3.21 ERA. And Byron flies out, one down. And here's Kepler batting second. A high drive to right field. Golf to right and gone. Kepler hitting his sixth of the year. And the twin strike first. Well, the lineup change move. Kepler down in the second spot in the order. Apparently he likes in there because that ball went a long ways. That was that curveball I was talking about. And that thing right down in that danger zone to left-handed hitters. Down and in. He just dropped the barrel down to it. Carlos Correa lights one to right, and there is Tatis to make the catch. That was slicing. Kirloff hits on the ground right side. Odor to the backhand goes up into the air, and a good pick on the other side by Cronenworth to end the inning. A home run for Max Kepler as the Twins on top one to nothing. Second walk issue by Lopez. Soto aboard, and now Bogart. Full count again. Runner goes this time, swung on and missed. Vasquez with a throw. Safe at second base. Take a look, but much like we saw in the last half inning, I'm sure you're going to risk a challenge, but yeah, tremendous athleticism and how he was able to stay on the base as well. Yeah, it looked like he was going to be out by about a foot and a half. Looks like he got the call right. Carpenter with the runner getting a great jump. Out of third. Farmer dropping the tag and Vasquez with a rifle of a throw. And even though Soto got a tremendous jump from second base, Vasquez threw him out. Looks like the foot blocks the path. And yeah. Fly ball center field all sorts of control issues for Lopez but he's completed his second inning and faced just six men. You know, double starts things here in the second inning now Kyle Farmer back in a twins uniform again. And the Farmer strike three and Lugo able to pick up his first K of the night. Swing and a miss and Gallo strikes out in a piece foul tipping in it. That is strikeout number two for Lugo they come back to back here in the second inning. Vasquez grounds it softly to Odor at second base. On to first for out number three. And the leadoff double wasted for the Twins. Play two. It's 1 0 Minnesota. One ball, two strikes on Tatis. Grisham at first, two down. And here's the pitch. He struck him out, swinging on a changeup. So twice, Lopez is fan Tatis. Padres don't score, leave a man. Twins back at it, bottom three, leading 1 0. Two down. That'll bring up the man that's made the difference in this ball game so far. Max Kepler. His home run in the first inning is the only scoring that we've seen so far. And the 1-0 pitch. Line drive. Left center field in the gap. Soto back. Angling. And it's over his head. As the ball lands on the track and finds the wall, Kepler glides into second base. A two-out double. So he's homer to right. Now doubles to left center. Kepler's two for two. And once again, Dan, the Twins have a man at second base. So now Correa. Correa, that one gets away. Glancing off the glove of Sullivan and taking third is Kepler. Correa, he was booed last night, and when asked about that, he said, I don't blame the fans one bit. I'm being paid to produce, and it's not happening. I'd boo myself. And the pitch is swinging a fly ball, left center field deep. Back it goes, deep it goes, and that ball is off the wall. Correa was not running as he left the batter's box. We'll get to second base, close play, and he is thankfully safe. Boy, that would have been embarrassing. Correa thought he had it, hit it a ton. It was off the wall, and he was into his home run trot. Four hits for the Twins tonight, all four for extra bases. There was just one good swing away. And now Kirilov drives it to right field. Tatis on one hop. Here comes Correa trying to score. Out at the plate. The tag applied by Sullivan and gunned out at the plate is Correa. So a run in for the Twins in the inning, and Minnesota has taken the 2 0 lead with the tag at the plate. Soto reached on a leadoff walk back in the second inning, stole second, tried to steal third, and was thrown out at third base. 
There's a line drive caught by Kirloff. He'll get up, step on the bag, and double up Cronenworth. What a play, a step and a dive to his right. Laid out on his chest, made the catch, and got up and doubled him up. Nice play, and ends the top half of the fourth inning. Well, leading off for the Padres here, the number nine hitter is going to be Brett Sullivan. He's a rookie, and a one-two pitch. Swung on a miss, elevated. On a fastball, that's strikeout number six. And top of the order here is Tatis. He's got him twice so far here tonight. Swung on a miss. Tatis have a night. Three punch outs. It's a walk that'll put Cronenworth aboard. He's reached all three times without putting a ball in play. Two walks and a hit batter, and that'll get Machado to the plate representing the tying run. Tamper to third. Farmer gets a chance. Sets. Lopez with six wonderful hitting. On Soto leading it off here in the seventh inning. Fly ball to center field. Taylor back at the wall. He leaps and it's gone. On to the berm and straight away center field. Juan Soto's gone deep. His sixth home run of the year. And the Padres have cut the Twins lead in half just like that. It's 2-1. to 4-17 the table of the tape on the home run for Juan Soto. Somebody's getting hot. Talk about swinging the bat really well. And he got him. Right on right change up. And that's the first down. And Lopez should get a very nice round of applause. He's done for the night, giving up just one run over six and a third innings. The bases are now loaded for Manny Machado. Driven towards right center field on the run is Kepler. He'll move over and make the catch. And the Padres have tied the score two to two. One out walk issued to Alex Kirilov. And Jorge Polanco will now come to the plate for the Twins with a runner on. One out, two two. Line drive right at Xander Bogarts. He leaps fast throw over to first base, but it's not going to be in time. Xander timing the leap perfectly. And we're going to have a pinch hitter. It's going to be Willie Castro coming up. Broken bat, one hopper to Bogarts. He will win the race to the bag that ends the inning and sends us to the 10th in Minnesota. Austin Knoll at the plate now. Odor over at third, one down. Infield is in. He shows bunt. He gets it down the third base line. The run is going to score. There's no play but to go over to first base. Padres have a 3 2 lead here in the top of the 10th. Now the Padres, three unanswered runs, have a 3 2 lead. Twins have to answer bottom 10. It will not be easy. As the Padres have, all-star closer Josh Hader on to throw. Donovan Solano will pitch hit for Joey Gallo. That's a fair ball into the corner. Castro around third, he will score. Solano slashes a game-tying base hit. That was fast. Now Christian Vasquez. This will get away, and in the scoring position goes Solano with nobody out. 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Got him to chase upstairs. Big out for Josh Hader, the first out of the inning. And the 2-2 pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Got him, got him to chase the slider outside the zone, two away. Put runners on first and second, Max Kepler, who's had himself a day, Tony. A leadoff, or excuse me, a solo home run in the first inning, followed by a double in the third. One, two, swing and a miss, strike three. Got him. Hader bears down and strikes out the last three batters for the final three outs, but the Twins do get a run to tie this ball game at 3-3 and send us to the 11. Griffin Jacks right now, but the bases are loaded, so it's going to be up to Carpenter. And the pitch, breaking ball, strike three, look at it. And Griffin Jacks strikes out Carpenter with the bases loaded. We're going to the bottom of the 11th inning. Bob Melvin saying right away, I'm just going to give the intentional walk to Correa. And the Padres will take their chances with Alex Kirilov. Down the line, a base hit, a walk-off hit for Alex Kirilov. Welcome back, kid. Smile tells it all. 